She has good manners. She messaged me in the morning. Ma'am, I'm not going to be in class. Will you please record the lesson? That is good manners. To ask. All right. So, they give you there a graph with the boiling and the melting points of different group 5 halides. I hope you highlighted the word group 5 halides. You check. What does that mean? You see they give you the ammonia. And this one. And this one. And this one. And you check. what They're all, is connect, they're, they're all connected to a hydrogen. So that part tells you that it is a halide. And if you check there, the first substance is all elements in group 15 or group 5. Did you check on yes. the table? Yes. is group five every time okay right now they ask the name of factor Shh. that must be kept constant for this investigation come on something that must be say again no if you look at the graph the temperature must not stay constant you measure the temperature and you check how it differs okay come on I want you to understand why you are wrong. I just explained. What did I say? Jabu, shh. Why? You, you want to check what is the temperature at which they boil. If you keep that constant, you will get nothing. Okay? Remember in a graph. Okay? It is the thing on the x-axis is the um, independent. If you don't know it, you write it down. The independent variable. That is the thing that you control or you change. That's the thing that you control or that you change. The independent variable. The thing on the y-axis is the dependent variable. That's the thing that you measure. That's the thing that you want to get. You want to see what is the boiling point. At what temperature does it melt. So that is the thing that you measure. Okay. And then you want to check what do you need to keep constant. Okay. What did you say? Mm -mm. The mass changes every time. Mass change, 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 change. Every time. What is the thing? Can we compare? And um, they compared here ammonia. Can you compare ammonia in this investigation with, let's say, water? Is water a group 5 halide? No. no. They wanted to compare what is the relationship between mass... And melting and boiling points of what? Of group 5 halides. So they want to compare all the group 5 halides with each other. So if it's not in group 5, it's not part of the experiment. For this experiment. Okay, if I want to check who is the fastest person um, under 18 in this school. 
Can I take an under 14 learner? No. It must be an under 18 learner. All right. So I'm going to just go back there. So what must be kept constant there is it must be group five halides. Just can't see. Okay, next one, question 2.2. They ask, which one of the line graphs, A or B, represents the substance's melting points? Princess, what did you say? Which one is their melting points? Because you have two lines. You have a line going like that, and you have a line going on like that. That is called A, that is called B. Which one is the melting points? Why did you say graph B? you're more at the bottom it's lower and it is common sense in your head that a melting point is lower than the boiling point okay so you can say the temperatures is lower than a they didn't ask for a reason but if they ask for a reason you know now why question 2.3 they ask explain the tendency or the pattern of the boiling points of phosphorus hydride to this one so they don't ask for all of them i'm just going to go to our graph quickly again they don't, they don't ask for all of them they asked only so they asked the boiling point so the top one only from there to there so not all of them only those ones okay right so we don't look at ammonia why not because ammonia is the exception that has hydrogen bonding in it Okay, right, so you can see it comes four marks, four marks are those bullet points that you must mention. Job, what do you start with, with those four marks? What's the first thing that you write down? Okay, what's the difference from um, the first one to the last one? Not both, they don't ask for two, they ask for all three. Can you see it says, from that to that. So they don't ask you to compare two of the things. To means from this one to that one. So they're asking for this, from that to this one to this one. Okay. Yes, they all have double-double forces, but what is the difference between them? What is your independent variable? What is the thing that changes every time? The mass. What happens with the mass? Is it increase or decrease? Increase. So you say from, now you don't have to mention all of them like that. You can say from this to this. Okay, so you don't have to mention all three. You can say this, from this to this, the molar mass increases or increase okay yes i want you to write even though no not thought well, how do you spell though th even though all have dipole dipole forces um Jabu, how did you know they all have dipole dipole intermolecular forces Okay, two ways. Either you studied it from the table on page two, or you went to draw the Lewis diagrams. If you check for the first one, phosphorus is in group 15. It has five valence electrons. Hydrogen is in group one. It has one. So you can see there, there you have the lone pair which causes this to become very negative and this side to become very positive. So it's a dipole. It has two poles. Can you see how you must use the previous chapter to figure out? Yes. No, but you must know if you don't say that, you'd lose a mark. Okay, right. 
So from there to there, the molar mass increases. How does that affect the intermolecular forces, Declan? Okay, but go to your notes. What's the second bullet point that you must say? Yes, so what about the strength of the intermolecular forces? How will that change if the molar mass increases? Um, yes, so you say from that to that, the, the strength of the intermolecular forces increase. Okay, what's your next bullet point, Liakwe? Which molecule? If you just say that, you don't get a mark for that point that you've written down. We don't have water there. Okay, guys, you must tailor your answer. So change your answer to the question. Can you see each time we say, from there to there, from there to there. You keep on with it. Why do I do this now? Because we're busy with not just two um, molecules. We're busy with a pattern. We did this in class. Uh, from A to C, from A to C, from A to C. Yes? yes? Same thing here. So instead of A to C, now we now just have the um, symbol, uh, the formulas for the molecule. So you say thus, from this to this, um, the energy um, Okay, and then lastly you say, thus from this to this, the boiling point increases. Okay, so do you understand why we write it down like this? Where I come from. Okay, next question. Question 2.4. They ask, what phase will ammonia be at room temperature? With phase, they are asking, is it solid, liquid, or gas? Okay. You can see there that the melting point of it is around minus 70 degrees Celsius. And the boiling point from ammonia is around minus 30 degrees Celsius. Can you see that from the graph? Okay, so what phase will it be at room temperature? What temperature is room temperature, Boitsepu? Near! You're dead at 36. Do you know how warm it is? 36 degrees. 
Is that the same? Not your human, not your, your body temperature, room temperature. Ay, ay, ay. Not your body temperature, ne? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, so if you said 23 degrees Celsius, it's fine. But they want to know what phase will it be. So we can see that it boils at negative 30 degrees Celsius. So, Mosi, what will it be at 25 degrees Celsius? A gas. A gas. Okay, 2.5. They ask, what type of intermolecular forces sh do you find between the molecules of ammonia, Tiamo? Yes. Okay, and then question 2.6. They ask, at question 2.6, they ask, Explain why the boiling point of ammonia is not like you expect it to be if you compare it to the rest. Refer to the type of intermolecular forces, strength, and energy. Okay, so they want you to compare ammonia versus the rest of group 5 halides. Okay, so Pookie, what is the first thing that you're going to mention? Okay, and what is the difference? Yes, but no. What is the big difference? We said that in the graph, we said this has what type of intermolecular forces and this is what type of intermolecular Yes. So you're going to say ammonia has hydrogen... Okay, what's the next thing you mentioned, um, Antoinette? The strength. Which one is stronger? Yes. Right, what's the next thing, uh, Mama? What else do you want to add about the forces of the molecules? We said what they have, we said which one is stronger. We're not asking about evaporation or vapor pressure, they're asking about boiling point. They have no boiling points. They gave you the boiling points of the substances. Mama, this is the well, fifth, sixth time that we wrote this down. Go to your notes. Go to page nine. On page nine, I said, how do you answer a question there? We are at the third bullet point. Which molecules? Look, what are we comparing? Ammonia with group five halides.
Which one will take more energy? Which one did you just write down is stronger? Do you understand what you're writing down? No, you're not. Mama, you must pay attention. You must focus. You're going to say, thus, ammonia needs more energy to overcome intermolecular forces between... Okay, Bongani, what's our last bullet point? Say again? What is the conclusion here? So which one's boiling point, what, what? I say, say again? Yes, ammonia, yes. <laughs> All right, yes, the GV. That's ammonia's um, boiling point. will be higher than the rest of group five highlights. 